Hey traders, Richard here from Ninja Coders with a quick video tutorial on how to set up demo account for Ninja Trader 8. Right, so if you're brand new to the Ninja Trader platform, um, you've never tried it out before, but you would like to see all the features that's included, as well as potentially try out new concepts or uh, trading strategies or whatever the case might be without risking real money then you can actually go ahead and visit the ninja trader website we'll actually drop a link to this actual page in the description of this video so do go and check that out and you can go ahead click this get started button and you'll receive a free 14 day simulation account with real market data all right so that's very cool to have without actually opening a uh, brokerage account if you're not ready to do that just yet you can then go and test drive this like i mentioned for 14 days all right so once you get uh, click that get started button you'll just have to fill in some personal information as well as your email address and then you'll receive two emails soon afterwards the first one will contain all the information about how to download the ninja trader 8 platform as well as how to configure your live data feed so that you have real market data to go and test your strategies or try out the platform uh, whatever you would like to do all right so once you've done, done that then you can follow along with the next steps that follow okay so once you've downloaded the ninja trader 8 platform logged in and configured your data connection the first thing you'd want to do is actually go to the connections button over here in your ninja trader uh, dashboard and go and click on that actual fee that was provided in that email first thing that will happen is this yellow button will pop up on the left hand side here and this is under the accounts tab and it will read that it is connecting it will take a few seconds or so and once that button turns green it will actually tell you that you've been connected to that data feed so now you will have real-time data appear on your charts all right so as you can see mine says connected there i've also got a few different ones set up on my account when this is your very first uh, time connecting to ninja trader you'll probably just have that sim 101 appear there with the name of that fee that was provided to you all right so the next thing you might want to do is go over to this new button over here open a chart and let's for example use the nasdaq i'm just going to use a default setting that i've loaded yours might look a little bit different you can put it in your um, time frame with this uh, minute based uh, second based ranker charts whatever the case might be um, configure all this the way you want to and hit ok now the next thing that will happen is a chart will pop up for that market and you're now connected to real-time data as you could probably see on the right hand side here on the price label it is moving a little bit so that means that you're actually watching the real live data of the nasdaq at the moment all right so that's a very quick tutorial on how to open a chart but uh, very importantly if you want to then start trading in a simulation account you want to go on top of the chart here you'll see that there's a chart trader button once you click on that you can then see three other buttons appear you want to click on this chart trader button over here you see that an extra window opens on the right hand side here and there will be your simulation account that came with those email credentials that they've sent you right so now you can go ahead and basically trade from either the chart by right clicking on it and placing your orders like that or alternatively you can go ahead to this new button again and a lot of people actually trade with this you use the super dom let me just open that quickly and you'll be presented with the depth of the market window we can also go ahead and buy and sell this market now yeah it's set to the nasdaq you can click on that all the available markets will be on the left and very importantly make sure that your simulated account is selected now if you do have multiple accounts um, that is connected to or linked to that actual data fee that will also pop up here under this little pop-up box over here all right so that's one way that you can basically place orders um and the other cool feature before i sign off is just a very short video and show you how all this is done 
let's say for example that you want to open multiple simulation accounts you can do that and on each simulation account for example you want to have a specific strategy so you don't you know trade multiple strategies on one account you want to keep track of how you're performing on a particular strategy for a particular account that you set up then you can also do that uh, you can do that by basically going to the accounts tab in any way here on the window you can just go ahead and click the right hand button on your mouse and go ahead and click the add simulation account now the next thing that will pop up here is another window here where you can it will say sim so it will always be a simulation account and you can call it whatever you want to let's call it scalping strategy could be anything that you like sorry let me just spell that right um you can change your denomination to whatever currency you want um, you could probably leave all of these uh, on default one thing that is probably important is that you can actually go and set the amount of um, the cash that you want to start with so let's say for example you are planning on opening a real account at a later stage and you've only got ten thousand dollars it could be a thousand dollars whatever the case might be you can actually go and change that so it sort of mimics in the sim account the actual amount that you are planning to trade with all of these others i will just leave on default and once you click ok it will actually tell you to disconnect from your data feed first which i'll do quickly here and you'll see that it actually pops up here now i'm just going to connect again and you'll now see where i had three different accounts i've also now got this sim sculping strategy account as well all right now you can then go ahead again let's say open another chart again let's use the es this time i'll just leave it on default hit ok let's give it a little while to pull in that live data and this would be the es at the moment price is moving if you head on over to your chart trader you will then now also see if you want to particularly on this chart only trade a specific strategy under that new account that you created you then go ahead and just click on that and you will be trading in that account so very easy to do to set up um, the other thing you might want to do is if you want to get rid of it you just right click on it and remove it maybe name it something else uh, as you play around with the Ninja Trader 8 platform. All right, so very easy to do, very easy to set up. The information comes up with or that they send you in those emails uh, is very easy to follow. And then all you really need to do is just connect to your data feed, uh, select that account. I think you're probably just going to have one when you first start off. Um, and then also, if you want to add some more to test out different strategies like I've just shown you, then you also got that option. Right, so um, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, take care and goodbye.